Hi, I'm Martin, the founder at Blue First. Today we're talking about how you can grow your social pages organically. Social media has become harder in recent years as platform algorithms have changed to favour different types of content and different engagement actions. Sometimes it can feel like you're fighting a losing battle, but here are our best tips on social media growth. Focus on relevant channels. Organic social media growth requires a lot of effort, planning and content. So you need to make sure you're putting effort into the platforms that are suitable for your audience. To work this out, you need to build an ideal customer profile. This can include gender, age, income, job industry, interest and more. For this information, you should be able to deduce the social platforms your ideal customer is using. For example, Facebook has 2.7 billion monthly active users. Of these, 26.3% are aged between 25 and 34 and 56% are male. The age group indicates that Facebook users are likely to have a higher income because of their age. Now you could take that data a lot of ways. 2.7 billion users have a huge audience. It also shows that people aren't quite ditching Facebook just yet, although the stats show a specific audience. In this case, you're pretty safe to advertise to most audience demographics on Facebook. However, if you look at a platform such as TikTok, they have 100 million monthly active users. The largest age range between them is 18 and 24, and 59% are female. Compared to Facebook, this is a much more targeted demographic. This is likely because a newer platform and some older generations aren't comfortable with making video content. I would only recommend focusing on TikTok if your demographic are the younger end of the spectrum. If you've had unlimited time, you could present on all platforms, but let's face it, none of us do. Research your demographics and put your energy into the channels that they use the most. Another example would be if you're a B2C business, then you wouldn't need a LinkedIn strategy. However, if you're a B2B business, you'd be crazy not to have one. So don't waste your time on places that your audiences aren't present. Every social media channel has different things you can include in your profiles, including linking to other social profiles. To make sure you include your website URL, links and other social profiles where available and method of contacting you. You should also include keywords in your profile. For starters, your social media handles should be your business name or as close as you can get to that. Then in your about me description, you want to include the phrases that can help be found in search. For example, Blue First would be, would want to include digital marketing agency. We would also include different services we offer and this helps users understand who you are and what you offer. Be consistent. Social media algorithms value consistency. If you aren't consistent, it's going to be hard to get your content shown to followers. A good way to maintain consistency is to create social media content plan each month, and then use a scheduling tool such as Hootsuite to make sure you never miss a post. When you're creating your content plan, you can make sure to consider how much content you can reasonably post. If you don't have a dedicated social media team, then it's going to be impossible to create daily valuable content. You shouldn't post just for the sake of it. We would recommend posting every other day or every two days, but the most important thing is that you keep to your schedule and you keep it consistent. Add value. You know which channels are the most important to you and you know how to optimise your profiles and you know how to stay consistent. But now you need to know how to add value. Social medias love aesthetic content, but to get to them to follow your brand, you need to be adding something worthwhile to their feeds. You can provide value in a variety of ways and you don't have to stick to just one. First, you can provide value with beautiful images that are on brand. Social medias love looking at aesthetic on-trend images. You can provide updates on your industry and this shows you're knowledgeable and up-to-date. You can also post about specific products and why they're great. And you can show your products in action with video content. When creating content, you need to consider how it's going to add value. If you think about this, every time you're creating your content plan, you should see increased engagement. Use new features. When social media platforms add new features, these tend to have the best reach because of the fact they're new. For example, Instagram Reels have been really strong simply because they're new, and it's a way of complete competing with TikTok, so they need to, to perform well on the platform. Make sure you know all of the features you can use on any social media platform, then use them and don't miss out on potential traffic by sticking to the same old thing. It can be daunting to change up your content with new features such as Reels, 
but the benefit to your business will be significant because of the additional reach. Have engaging content. As well as adding value to your users with your social media posts, your content needs to be engaging. The algorithm isn't just fueled by consistency, but also by engagement. For example, you could post three times a day, every single day, but if no one is engaging with your content, then the algorithm will think it's spam. Therefore, you only need to post as often as you're comfortable, and you should be able to put value into every single post. Post engagement can be anything from a like to a post save. Now on Instagram, post saves are the highest form of engagement to the algorithm, so make your content save worthy. To encourage engagement, you can ask questions which will encourage comments. You can ask users to save content for later. For example, if you have a recipe business, you could tell people to save for later. Or if you have something really interesting update about your product or your industry, users might share that with their friends. All of these actions come from improved likelihood that you'll be seen organically. So you need to find ways to encourage these behaviours with your brand. Engage with other users. It's no good doing all this work and encouraging users to engage with you if you aren't going to engage with people. If you don't engage with other people's content or the comments in your posts, then this could affect your reach as well. Some people don't think that if they're online and engaging around the time of your posts, they'll have an improved reach. At the end of the day, social media platforms are designed to be social. They aren't just for selling, so you need to engage and build those customer relationships. Organic strategy. We've given you the tools to understand how to build your social media platforms organically. Now you just need to put these into practice. Building anything organically isn't always a quick process. Whether it's your organic rankings or social media followings, it requires continuous work and patience. If you can follow the points we've mentioned, you should see improvement in your social engagement and following. But creating content for multiple platforms and engaging with your following in time like consuming job, particularly once you're following starts to grow. If you wanted your page to grow more quickly, you could run paid ads, or you could employ someone to plan, create and manage your content strategy. If you need to do it yourself, just remember to be consistent, add value and engage with others when you can.